Like bad kids, baby, reckless Yeah, all hearts are like taxes What's good YouTube, it's your boy Guap Sound, I'm back with another video and today's video I wanted to make a part 2 or episode 2 for my What's Your Frustration series. Like I know I've actually kind of been putting off this series for like a little bit but like I may as well start to actually get more and more into my new series Um, ever, ever since like the traction that I gained from and the support that I gained from the first one so um, we actually gonna keep it going man um so in this episode of what's your frustration i'm actually gonna be talking about something that's been really pissing me off for like ever since like 2018 early 2019 and notice how society is actually going more and more downhill and everything so um and um one thing that i'm gonna say here like Obviously, like, I'm probably gonna offend some people in this video, like I always do in all my type of discussion videos. Like, there's always gonna be some motherfucker that's offended, but really, I don't really give a shit. It's to be expected at this point because uh, I'm speaking the truth and they get mad when you speak the truth. So, um, so for this episode, I'm gonna be discussing how people have been gone, have society has pretty much gone soft in 2019. 2019 is pretty much the year of getting your feelings hurt. And what do you mean by the year of getting your feelings hurt? Well, I'm just gonna, let me tell you this. So, basically, like, 2019 has become such a SJW and feminist type of um, year, and as well as 2018 and 2017, uh, where, like, you can't really say anything anymore. You can't crack no jokes no more. You can't really, like, point out any type of stereotypes. You can't, you, sometimes you can't even say fucking hi to people sometimes. And I'm actually sitting up here trying to figure out, like, wait, hold on, bro. Like, was it 10 years ago we was actually downing people, like, and actually making fun of people for actually being this soft and everything? And now all of a sudden, it's we're probably gonna make this a a norma a normality to actually let people be soft as a fucking pillow, like a like soft as a fucking pillowcase full of feathers. Like something ain't adding up here. This is like Birdman says, this is not adding up. So, um, in my videos, uh, I actually get more into like the discussion videos and the commentary videos. Sometimes I just be reacting to videos that just flat out stupid, and then I just get my opinion about it. So. And I notice how in most of my videos, well, like, especially my newer ones and everything, like, I've actually get, um, all type of, um, messages, DMs on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere else in my comment section, everywhere else, like, in saying that, like, oh, like, what, you got a problem with this, like, what, you got a problem with gay people, you got a problem with homophobic people, you got a problem like, with transgender people, and I'm also about to make a video about that in the future as well. And I know I'm about to piss off some people when I make that video and when I make the gender video that I have planned. But that's another di video for another day. Like, it seemed like whenever you have, whenever you try to voice your opinion about something. Now, let me say this. We live in America. North America, we live in the United States of America, right? And in our, um, one of our amendments, it actually protects us for free speech. And we actually have an opinion and actually have a platform to voice our opinion, unlike um, third world countries like Europe, um, North Korea, South Korea, um, and even Japan sometimes, and China, like, those countries, you're not even, a, some of those countries, you're not even allowed to actually voice your opinion at all, and if you do, like, um, they're gonna be, they're gonna be liable and justified to kill your ass, so, and th take that into consideration when I make these videos that, like, I live in America, and I can say pretty much anything I want, um, that's constructive or not, um, when and where I like, and, um, and if everybody's entitled to their own opinion, so, so, yeah, I get where, like, y'all are coming from, but, like, stop trying to say that, like, I got a problem with this or a problem with that, um, when I'm simply voicing my opinion, my opinion, mind you, I'm not speaking up for a third of this country, I'm not speaking up for half of this country or majority of this country, I'm speaking up for me and me only, so, um, whenever I make these videos, I always get mad when I see somebody that's literally part of this SJW organization or this feminist organization, um, that, like, try to step in on their behalf and everything and try to, um, say and, like, try to call me out like I got a fucking problem. Like, in, like, in, th really, this is where we going in 2019? Like, bruh, we literally calling out people for speaking the truth? We literally getting mad at people for speaking the truth, bruh? Like, did the laws of the universe change and ain't nobody tell me? Like, motherfuckers gotta apologize for being right? 
like, I don't understand this society that we live in, bro. And, and think about the society we live in, bro. And I'm going to give some examples here. Like, and whenever you speak out about, um, um, about females doing something that's whorish in nature, like, you're slut shaming. Like, uh, and, like, if you call females out on their bullshit, like, they're going to call you a misogynist and a sexist asshole. So, like, so let me get this straight. So, because you're doing something that's not, that's not right, and, and, and you're clearly in the wrong, I'm a misogynist? First of all, if I was a misogynist, I wasn't, I wouldn't even be talking about you because you're a female. Stupid. Like, bruh, like, look up, a, look up the word in the dictionary before you actually use it, bruh. And, and, like, and also another thing, whenever, like, you ever, when, when we try to make, like, call men to actually be more men, because we don't have enough actual men in this g generation in our society other than me, I'm a real man. My, my daddy, he raised me like a man, okay? I'm, I'm a goddamn man, okay? So... And we, when we actually tell people that we need actually actual more men to step up in our generation and in our society, oh, like what? You got a problem with feminine men? Like it's always a problem when you sit up here and say something and and get up on a platform and say something. And I'm just giving some examples here. So my question is, and like and mainly, it's the SJWs and the feminists' fault because when they actually get up here and sit up here on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, etc., and actually get up here and actually like complain and actually bitch and moan all fucking day and walk around like they're entitled, um, and more generalized and made more of a majority over than anybody else they created a wave of people to actually run amok in this society and you can't tell them anything oh because and then they'll and they'll apply to this like oh i'm a feminist shut up like you you misogynist asshole like shut up shut up before i get the sjw called on you i uh, like and, and it honestly makes me sick that I live in a generation like this. I thought I lived in the right generation, but apparently I was fucking wrong. Because I remember 10 years ago, if you didn't have tough skin, you weren't gonna survive in this world. It's plain and fucking simple. Like, in this world, in like, this world is not gonna cater to your every needs. Not everybody, not everybody's gonna bow down and suck your dick like you the king of England. Like, no one's gonna sit down and kiss your ass like you're the next big thing. Like, you're the next biggest celebrity. Like, you have to grow up someday and actually realize that the world does not revolve around you. And I learned that at a very young age. And that's something that these feminists and SJWs has not actually had to do and cannot actually say that they had because they hadn't grown up with a father in their life. They haven't actually grown up with an actual mother in their life and uh, with no right parents. Because no right parents would allow them to do half the stuff that they would say they, they like, fighting for. And, and honestly, I'm going to save this for, I was, I was going to save this for another video, but fuck it, dude. But, um, feminism, you notice how in, I'm going to compare feminism to, like, um, today's modern feminism versus old feminism. I remember back in the day, in the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, feminism was basically a wave of females to actually push their rights and actually have more female rights. Nowadays, it's it's really more of like a, an abused privilege to be a feminist because they feel like they can do whatever they fucking want and no one can tell them anything or no one will do anything to them. It's literally an abused system and they actually made it into something that wasn't actually built on to begin with you know what I'm saying and it ties all back to what I'm saying that when I say that 2019 is a year of of it's pretty much a year of soft of softies they're sissies like I remember back in the day like if if a if a boy like me back when I was like eight or nine years old if you didn't have tough skin on the playground bro you were gonna get bullied for the rest of the goddamn year bro like I, I kid you not it literally happened to me bro that's why I'm so like, you know what I'm saying? I've grown, I've developed myself to actually have more tougher skin and actually, like, stand up for myself more because back in the day, I, I couldn't know how to stand up for myself. And I knew if I didn't know how to stand up for myself in the future, I was not going to last long in this world. I wasn't. I'm going to be picked off by um pretty much, like, um the general population, bruh. Like, it's pretty much, um... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't going to survive in this uh, world very long if I kept on doing what I am doing. But thank God that I actually developed more tougher skin and actually learned how to take jokes more and actually learned uh, how to stand up for myself and others. So, 
that's all I really wanted to say in this video, bro, because I, I'm sick and tired of these people walking around always having their fucking feelings hurt. I don't understand these fucking people, bro, and I, I just don't. Because they want to talk about all this other shit. They want to get in on politics. They want to get in on major discussions. They want to get in on all this other shit. But then, meanwhile, let somebody hurt your motherfucking feelings. And you're going to be goddamn rambling on Twitter. You're going to be um, having the Twitter fingers all fucking day. You're going to be on your Instagram, Snapchat stories and all. For literally hours straight. Crying, sniffling, like wanting sympathy from others. Like um, wanting attention and, and all this other shit. And uh, picking on others because like they're right and you're clearly wrong. Like I am, I I just don't understand this fucking society, dude. I just don't. I really don't. And and honestly, if we need more leaders like me in this fucking world, I will honestly say that because we need more actual voices in the world to actually make a difference. Because I remember back in the day that we actually had more leaders we at to actually say they're like yo you don't do this you don't do that like and as long as it's nothing bad and anything like and they were actually trying to be a good influence but these sjw's and feminists they're literally the they're literally the embodiment of a bad influence like that's all i really wanted to say in this video bro um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of what's your frustration like i'm gonna actually gonna be continuing the series more and more as i go on in my youtube career bro if it takes off it takes off um um i really appreciate it if you guys leave a like on this video to actually make it get more traction on the video and everything um also um the link's gonna be in the description down below if you guys haven't watched um uh, my other podcast with my bro michael um michael bryant tm um uh, I'll also leave that down in the description down below. But make sure you guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Do you guys think that society has gone soft? Because in all honesty, they really have. And it's really going to get worse and worse. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, add me on PlayStation, etc. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. This is your boy Guap. And I'm signing out, bruh.